Hey guys, Bloody Wheels here. Today we have another pistol unboxing. Yes, the title gave it away. This is a Chonic TP9 SF Elite pistol. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. This is going to be a quick unboxing, not an in-depth review, just going over what's in the package and my future plans for this firearm. Right off the bat, we see a hard plastic case. A lot of you who purchase pistols like that uh, the manufacturers include a hard uh, pistol case to, uh, to leave your pistol in. I don't care either way. I think it is nice that they do include it. So let's go ahead and get into this bad boy here. Right off we see this insert that has all of your paperwork into it. We're not going to go over this mess, but I highly suggest if you're new to firearms or you're new to this specific firearm that you do read your owner's manual. We're not going to. We're going to toss that. But right away we see uh, the presentation in the box here. Yes, this has previously been unboxed, the, uh, the place I purchased from. We go ahead and go through everything in the box to make sure everything is there. Um, but first off, we see our pistol. And right away we see it comes in a nice holster included from, let's go ahead and call them Canic. Yes, the, the pronunciation is Chonic, but here in America we see th say things the way we want to, so we'll call them Canic from here on out. But it is very nice. You get a lot of value in this package. And I love to see manufacturers include certain doodads in the box. And here, can it gives you a nice uh, holster. I love that for those of you. I mean, it's probably not the best holster in the world. You can find better. But the fact that they include it in the box is fantastic to me. Well, let's go ahead and uh, move that to the side. And here we have our firearm. So let's go ahead and safety check this bad boy. Yes, she is clear. This is a 9mm striker fired pistol, about the same size as a Glock 19, uh, give or take so some small measurements. It is a 15 round capacity. They include two 15 round flush fit magazines. They are made by Metgar, which uh, makes a lot of magazines for many different manu uh, manufacturers. I've had great luck out of um, Metgar magazines. The 18 round magazines will also work in this firearm, which we'll get, we'll get to that here in a minute. But let's go ahead and go over uh, everything in the package here. We'll come back to the firearm here in just a minute. But like I said, uh, you get two 15 round magazines. The first one's in the pistol. The second one's over here. Let's go ahead and get some of this other stuff out of the way. This tag was on the pistol. It's just showing you this thing was quality controlled. Don't need that. Your chamber flag was in there when I picked it up uh, at, at the place I purchased it from. Don't need that right now. Let's move off to the side here. We have, let's see here. This looks like uh, an extra pin for when you change out, if you choose to, the extra back strap, which we're going to get to here in just a minute. Uh, let's come down here. We have your trigger safety. We'll put that back. I don't use them, but I'm sure many of you do. And we have your second 15 round magazine by Metgar. Once again, I love that manufacturers include certain things and here they give you a loader. Now I previously unboxed the, uh, the Elite SC, the subcompact version. They also gave you a holster, but they didn't give you a loader. But I do like that they gave you a loader in the package. No, you don't need one to load a mag, but man, it makes it a whole lot simpler to load your magazines using one of these tools. Yes, I do offer speed loaders that work on these mags. If you're interested, I'll tell you where to go here in just a minute for those. But you have the second magazine as well as the loader. Let's see if I can move this thing around to show you what else is included. Like I said previously, you'll get your extra back strap. And I'm guessing this, this gives you uh, a little larger grip, I'm sure. Uh, I'm not interested in that, but it's cool that they give you another back strap to customize your firearm for your grip. There's you a cleaning rod and a cleaning brush. Let's see what else is in here. That doesn't look like anything else is in here. But back to the pistol. Once again, like I said, this is a 9mm striker fired pistol. About the same size as a Glock 19, 15 round capacity. You get a lot of value in this whole package here for what you pay for it. I think I paid around $3.99 for this whole package, which I think was a pretty good deal for what you're getting here. This is a very, very nice looking pistol. 
with a tungsten gray finish. I really like the gray and the black together. I think they complement each other very nicely. Now one thing I did notice on this one, um, as I unboxed the SC a few videos ago, the SC comes with the slide cutout for you Red Dot fans. And this one does not. So I don't know if that's a deal breaker for some of you. I have no interest of using a Red Dot, but I'm sure a lot of you do. So I, like I said, I don't know if that's a deal breaker or not. So this one is not cut for the Red Dot. Let's look at the slide, or excuse me, the sights. Looks like you get worn tactical sights. They are windage adjustable. You have a black in the rear, windage adjustable, and you get a fiber optic in the front. Very nice. I also see on the top here you have a loaded chamber indicator. This reminds me of the Taurus G2C where they had the loaded uh, chamber indicator on the top, which I was a big fan of. I think they've changed it on the newer model, the G3C and the G3s. But I really like the top here. That way, if you're in the bump of the night in the dark, you can feel up here and tell if your chamber is loaded or not, if you would need to. Uh, coming down here, like I said, this is not an in-depth review, just an unboxing, but I want to get a good look at the pistol here. A very nice looking grip frame with a mild texturing on the side. Doesn't look like it's going to eat your skin up too bad. Unlike mentioning the Taurus again, the G2C and the G3C is meant they can be kind of aggressive. Very nice in the hand, but pretty rough on the skin if you're carrying. Very nice stippling like on the front and the rear portion. And like I said, you get that changeable back strap in the package when you purchase this firearm. Um, let me see, let me move this box out of the way. We don't need that right now and kind of compare it to the SC that I did an unboxing video not too long ago. If you're interested in that video and, and some of the products I make, go ahead and check that out on my channel. But here's the difference between the, uh, shoot, I can't get it on camera here, the subcompact version and the SF Elite. A lot bigger, of course, than the subcompact model. But uh, the mags that come with this firearm will work in your SC, so that's cool to know. But basically the same kind of packaging you get with the exception of you get the slide cut up here and you get the loader with this firearm but not that one but yeah very nice looking pistols i make uh some loaders to fit this one i make mag sleeves to fit this one go check out those videos if you're interested there but the reason i purchased this firearm here is as i mentioned earlier the 18 round mags also work in the SF Elite pistol. This is the Metgar version, 18 round. You can see the little gap left right there. And if you're not familiar with my channel or the business I operate, I mainly deal in mag sleeves that I 3D print to take up the gap left by using longer magazines in select pistols. So I picked up this firearm specifically for that reason so I can make mag sleeves for a few different uh, magazines compatible with this pistol. So you can see the gap there left by the Metgar version. These sleeves are already available. I'll go ahead and tell you now, but I'm not. the videos will be here shortly showing the in-depth review and detail of how they look on the firearm. If you are interested right now and don't want to look ahead, they are available on my website at bloodywheelsusa.com. Like I said before, this is the Metgar 18 round magazine. And the 20 round will also work in here. And here is another magazine. This is the 18 round made by ProMag. And those of you who watch my videos know I'm not a huge fan of ProMag, but it seems like the factory mags for the Canics are uh, non-existent, extremely hard to get, but you can find the ProMags pretty much anywhere. So a lot of you folks are using the ProMag 18 round mags in both this pistol as well as the SC I just showed. So you can see the gap left by there uh, using this magazine and there's going to be two upcoming videos because this one's going to use a, a specific sleeve and this one's going to use a specific sleeve because of the differences between the base plates. And like I said, you can see that in the future videos I'm going to come up with. But that was the main purpose of selecting this firearm here. And I, I deal a lot in the TARS firearms. I do some sky stuff. But the tar stuff seems to be slowing down a whole lot for me. 
instead of keeping my eggs all in one basket, I'd like to offer some different products for highly popular uh, firearms, and this seems to be one of them. Just like the SC I just showed uh, a few seconds ago, that one has been uh, a godsend for me. That one's been a nice selling product for me. A lot of you folks out there are using that uh, Elite SC firearm, and I imagine a lot of you are using this SF Elite firearm. So once again, those sleeves are already on sale on my website. So if you're interested, go check that out. But uh, look for the future videos here soon, maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm going to have a video specifically on the Metgar Mag sleeve made for this firearm. And then the next video will be on the Pro Mag. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and, and look for upcoming videos I plan on doing. So that was a quick unboxing. Like I said, not an in-depth review, just showing what comes in the package and my future plans. And there you go. So I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a good day.